Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Colleen and today we're going to do my August wrap up. I just got home from camping and I thought that now would be a good as time of any to talk to you about all the books that I read in August. I read a total of nine books, which was five novels and four graphic novels for a total pages of 3,223 and an average rating of 3.78. So pretty average month. But let's get into it. As always, I'm going to start with the graphic novels. Uh, the thing that really saved this month was the book Tubathon, because let me it's just all over the place. So, the first graphic novel I read in August was One Roman Volume One, The Lies. Really loved this. Rated at four out of five. This is a really excellent series. Can't recommend it enough. I'm in love with Wonder Woman. Then I decided to try a new superhero out for the second month in a row. So I read Black Widow Volume 1, The Finely Woven Thread. This is by Edmund Edmonston and Noto. I really enjoyed this. The art style, like, wasn't exactly my aesthetic, but I do really like her. So, uh, excited to continue on in this series. If I continue to like it, maybe I'll pick up the graphic novels about Hawkeye because I feel like he's the second Avenger that I really enjoy. Then I read volume six of Sega, just a continuation of the story. I like the teacher character in this one a lot. She was great. I just, she's really cute. Such a cute character. And uh, I read this a four out of five again, so another standard graphic novel. And then I rounded out with volume six of Lumberjane Sink or Swim um, by Waters, Leah, Pysk, and Leho. So I pronounced most of this wrong, and that's fine. Again, the art style is different than the originals, so that's still something that I'm getting used to. But it was a really cute one. I liked the Selkies. And I liked the pirates, so I did enjoy it. I rated it 4 out of 5, read it in the bath. It was a good time. On to the novels. So I started off finishing <clears throat> Rich People Problems by Kevin Kwan. This finished off the Crazy Rich Asian series. I also went to see the movie, loved that as well. Great series, great movie, everyone should watch it. I rated it 4 out of 5, it was good. Then I read the... Seventh, um, Miss Fisher Murder Mystery by Carrie Greenwood, called Ruddy Gore. Uh, this wasn't my favorite in the series so far, but it was interesting. It takes place in a theater, which was kind of cool, but um, yeah, I still rated it 4 to 5. Then I read To All the Boys I've Loved Before. I've also watched this movie. It is fantastic, uh, just as everyone's saying. Uh, it was a super cute book. This is the first YA contemporary I have read in an age, so I'm really glad I did enjoy this. I am going to complete the rest of the series, maybe hopefully in September. Not making any promises though, but I really enjoyed this. I rated it 4 out of 5. And then I read The Light Between Oceans by M.L. Stedman. This takes place in Australia. It's about a couple who steals a baby when it washes up on shore at the lighthouse that they are tending and then things happen. Didn't really enjoy this book. I only read two stars. It was hard to get through. And finally, the last book that I read in August, that I read for most of August, was The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. This beast was 1,243 pages long, and I beat it. I read it. I really liked it. It was a three star for length, but a five star for plot, so it's a four star read for me. I really did enjoy it. It was tedious at times just because like you didn't feel like you were getting anywhere. Um, but yeah, I'm glad to have finished this because I already have a reputation at my work for like being a quick and fast reader, but I haven't finished anything since I started there. So now I can say I finished one book. but. That was my month of August. It was a pretty good month. As I said, I started a new job, um, so you're going to see how reading goes with that. It is going to be quite busy, but um, yeah, 
If you've read any of these books, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. And if uh, any of my descriptions have made you want to pick up The Count of Monte Cristo, perhaps, uh, let me know that too, because I would be really stoked if you did read it, or any of the other books that I talked about. But uh, that's all for this video. Coming up next is my August book haul, which should be quite good. Um, so stick around. Hope you enjoyed that as well. But we'll see you in the next video.